Steele with the PZW match of the week. Brady Roberts versus Carlo Cannon. Carlo Cannon's Power Zone Wrestling Farewell Match. Brady Roberts now off the stage. Clubbing blow to the back of Carlo Cannon. Both of these wrestlers are two of the top young stars of international wrestling, not just Southern Alberta. Folks, Power Zone Wrestling bringing you the best in wrestling talent. The youth movement continues with PZW. Carlo Cannon and Brady Roberts now one-on-one. -on -one. The dream matchup. The audience on their feet in heavy anticipation of where this contest is going to go next. Roberts now stalking Cannon. We have seen Cannon have some of the most historical matches in Power Zone Wrestling history versus the model. And now here he is with Brady Roberts. The Irish whip. No, the reverse. Cannon! Oh my God! Cannon just ran up the wall, folks. There is only one place in the wrestling world and the fight entertainment business period that you will ever see that. Carlo Cannon just ran up a wall and moonsaulted on the Brady Roberts. I have never seen anything like that. I have never seen anything like that in sports entertainment, sports period, entertainment period. It was like a live action scene from the Matrix, folks. I have never seen anything like that. Carlo Cannon and Brady Roberts might have just created the single most unforgettable moment in Power Zone Wrestling history. Cannon now throws Roberts into the ring. Roberts has got to be worn out. You could have seen the knee strike Roberts right in the forehead from Cannon. Cannon now with the clothesline. The train is on the tracks. A second clothesline. One has got to believe this is it. The Irish whip. Brady Roberts into the opposite end of the ring. Beautiful back elbow. Go for the pin, Cannon. One... Two, three, no, the kick out by Roberts. I thought it was a three count for sure. I thought Carlo Cannon was going to be able to salute the great fans of Lethbridge in its farewell contest with an amazing victory over Brady Roberts, but not quite. The reverse, Roberts throws in Cannon. Cannon now, oh my goodness, the Huracurana. Roberts attempted to block it, got his arms up there, but wasn't quite able. Oh, the kick out by Roberts. I thought that was it for sure again, folks. Roberts with the kick out. Cannon had gone for the Huracurana. Roberts got his hands up in an attempt to block it, but was still pulled over by the momentum of Cannon. This has got to be it now. Cannon sets him up. Looks to be. Could it be a beautiful looking suplex? No. Reversed. Absolutely amazing. A verify. A, a, sorry, folks. I'm tongue tied by that move. I'm absolutely tongue tied by this contest. That looked to be a variance of the twist of fate by Roberts and the two count. Jim Dandy looks to be getting a workout in this contest as well. Absolutely amazing. The best officials in wrestling, in the wrestling world, are here in Power Zone Wrestling, and Jim Dandy is at the forefront. You know, I've been critical of these refs in the past, but you know what? It's matches like this where you could see Dandy letting these guys go outside of the ring. He was taking his time with the 10 count. He wanted to give the audience what. Oh my goodness, look at that neck breaker! Absolutely amazing. This is why I am so grateful to be the announcer for Power Zone Wrestling, is wrestling matches like this. As I was stating earlier, you could see all the action that was taking place outside of the ring. Jim Dandy gave them the time and the room to decide a winner. The audience wants to see a winner between these two fan favorites, and Dandy gave them the room to get it done. I got nothing but respect for that man. I'm critical of the officiating at times, but you know what, folks? It's moments like this that I've got to realize we've got the best refs in the wrestling world and that was an example cannon on the top rope oh he went for a drop kick brady roberts took one step back goes for the pin no cannon the kick out stfu the kick out by cannon and brady roberts turned it into an stfu cannon needed to have realized that roberts was too far cannon went for the drop kick roberts just took one step back and there it is now the stfu we are yet to see one wrestler in pzw ever escape this maneuver Cannon now going to the ropes. You've got to respect the heart of Carlo Cannon. The daredevil from down under doesn't want to go home with a loss. He wants a win over Brady Roberts. He wants to give the great fans of Lethbridge and Power Zone Wrestling a memory they'll never forget. Roberts now again into the STFU for the second time. You've got to respect. I have got to believe this might be the greatest match I've seen Brady Roberts ever wrestle. That is brilliant. He is not going after power moves. He is not wasting his energy. He knows he is cannon hurt. He locks in the STFU for the second time. One has got to believe Carlo Cannon is not a big man. Carlo Cannon is a phenomenal athlete, but being forced to carry the body weight of Brady Roberts has got to be wearing him down. 
This has got to be it. It's only elementary from here. No, Cannon's got his hands in there. He breaks the wrists. He breaks the hold on the wrist. There it is, cross face. A beautiful reversal by Cannon. Look at this professional wrestling clinic by Brady Roberts and Carlo Cannon. Now it's Brady Roberts' turn to feel the pain. Is Brady Roberts going to tap out? Is it elementary from here? Brady Roberts now, he's got to himself to his knees. He's got up to his knees. This is it. Brady Roberts has now broken the torque of the move. He's got him up on his shoulders. Could it be? Beautiful kryptonite crunch. Go for the pin, Roberts. Just go for the pin, and I think you've got him. One, two, amazing contest. No! The kick out by Cannon. This is amazing. This has got to go down in the annals as one of the greatest matches in PZW history. Brady Roberts versus Carlo Cannon. This is the type of match that will create so much momentum for Roberts' career. Carlo Cannon is going home. He lost the loser leaves PZW match to the model. This is Cannon's last match. But it's moments like this and matches like this. Oh, he tripped. Cannon with the leapfrog. And Brady Roberts tripped and fell face first into the corner. Roberts now up. Super kick. Blocked. Roberts now counters. The STFU for the third time. Look at this clinic by Brady Roberts. This has got to be it. The third time. The STFU. There's the tap out. Carlo Cannon just tapped out. Absolutely amazing. Brady Roberts is on his way to superstardom. <laughs>